Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Clockromod Recovery and root your Galaxy S4 on a Windows device. So in this method we're going to be using Odin, so just keep that in mind. Odin, we're going to be using that program. Um, and this will support um, uh, Sprint, T-Mobile, and i9-500 International Octa-Core Galaxy S4. So Timo Galaxy S4, um, Sprint, and Octa-Core Galaxy S4 um, as of yet. Um, I'm going to go and update my article. I have a link down below for the article. And I'm, I'm going to update the article once more Clock or My Recovery files become available for the Galaxy S4. So once um, there's an official one or if there's like a tested one but it's uh, confirmed stable, then I'm going to go and update that page, uh, the whole article uh, with that and with the new files and all that too as well so if you're wondering if you're going to be supported of course you're going to be supported uh you got no worries on that um so let's go ahead and enter our phone into download mode and get start uh installing uh, cloud remote recovery and rooting our device so go ahead and power off your phone go ahead and power it off and give it a few seconds just to uh, shut off completely and then we're going to uh, put our phone into download mode let's give it a few seconds and there we go so now we're going to press the volume down Home button and power button all at the same time. Once your phone vibrates, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume down and power button or home button. So all three. Vibration, let go of the power. And boom, you're gonna be on this screen. Press the volume up. And now it's gonna say downloading. And now go ahead and uh, plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to the USB port of your computer uh, on your Windows computer. And let's go and get started. Okay, so as you can see on my uh, computer screen, my Windows computer screen right here, we have six files. Um, you're going to be downloading four of these files. So everyone's going to update, uh, download this update SU right here. Everyone's going to download that update super user. Everyone's going to download Samsung USB drivers, and everyone's going to download Odin um, right there as well. So once you get that all uh, downloaded, you also have to download one of these. Uh, one of these. Let me go and try to focus that for you guys so you can actually read the file names. Kind of out of focus. Um, so right there, um, this one is, I believe, it is the T-Mobile run, uh, T <laughs> one, <laughs> one, T-Mobile Clock Remote Recovery. Uh, this one is the i9-500 Octa-Core uh, Galaxy S4 Clock Remote Recovery, and this is the Sprint Galaxy S4 Clock Remote Recovery. So be sure to select, download the correct one. Um, they're going to be individually downloaded, so you only have to download one of these, and everyone downloads all these. So make sure you download all three of these, and on one of these three files, only one of these three. And then once you get that all set up, all downloaded, all good to go, go ahead and run Samsung USB drivers. And this is going to allow you to communicate uh, Odin and your phone together so you can go and communicate together, uh, which is really going to help, <laughs> which is the only way, <laughs> actually. Um, so give it a few seconds just to load, as you can see. And I knew I was going to get this screen. So it says, uh, Samsung USB driver for mobile phones already installed on your computer. Do you want to proceed with the installation anyway? I'm going to go ahead and select no, just because I reinstalled this specific USB driver um, earlier today. Uh, but even if you did or didn't, go ahead and select yes and install the USB driver just in case or you can run into problems. So just go ahead and install it and um, then you'll be fine. So I'm going to go and select no, but you, select, you should select yes and go ahead and install the whole drivers and then you're good to go. So once you have the drivers installed, go and open up Odin and run Odin right here. Run the, oh, run this program right here, Odin 3 version 1.85. And like I mentioned earlier, all the files are links down below. All the files that you need is down below and a written step-by-step -step guide is down below as well. Uh, go and click uh, run. And then we're going to be on this screen right here, which is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, actually, not very fun. just clicking. Uh, but make sure this yellow bar does come up. Um, if it doesn't come up, first, make sure you install the drivers. If you didn't, go ahead and do it like I said earlier. Uh, second, make sure it is plugged into your computer. And if it is, and if it still doesn't detect it, go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. If that doesn't work, change the USB port. And thirdly, um, go ahead and restart your computer. Now, if those three methods or suggestions don't work and you still don't get that bar, uh, go ahead and try on another Windows computer. Or if you have a Mac computer, run uh, Boot Camp or something like that if you want, um, which will take some time, but I guess it's worth it if you want to root your device. Um, but once you, um, so go and try another computer, and then you should get the yellow uh, bar after installing your drivers on the second computer and all that. And once you have that all set up, uh, just leave all that alone, auto uh, reboot and F uh, reset time and all that. Leave that alone, and click on PDA, and locate that tar file that you found earlier. So mine is my T-Mobile one, because mine is T-Mobile. If you can see that in the glare, you can kind of see that it's T-Mobile. Right there you go, T-Mobile. 
So I'm gonna go find my T-Mobile one, which is right here. So that's my T-Mobile, it says it right there, T-Mo. Um, right there, select it. And PDA, make sure it's on PDA, and make sure that it just stays checkmarked, and click Start. And what this is gonna do is it's, it's injecting Clockwork Mod Recovery onto your device, and now it's gonna go and reboot. So give it a few seconds, and it's gonna reboot your device. So now my phone is rebooting, so I'll be right back after it's finished rebooting. Then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and transfer a super SU file onto our phone and root it. Yeah. Okay, so my phone is finished rebooting and as you can see, it's all good to go. It looks exactly the same. I still don't have super users, so we're gonna go and transfer a super SU, the zip file, onto our phone. So make sure it's still plugged into your computer. And now we're gonna go and open up my computer. Uh, you can go and close Odin. And open up this. So this is mine, Anuj Patel. That's my name, SGH M919. So go and open up uh, Open Device to View Files. Let me zoom in right there. Open Device to View Files right there. And um, open that up. And now you have two options. You have card and phone. I would recommend you put on your phone. Uh, but you can put on your micro SD card if you do have one. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll mention it where to put it um, if you do put on your card. So go and transfer the, um, the SU file right here onto your phone or card. So let me try to do that without messing up everything. There we go. So just put the uh, SU file onto the phone. Just drag and drop it. Drag it and drop it. And we're done. So I'll just show you it's in my phone now. Let me show you it. Um, where is it? There it is. So I'll show you it right here. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me go in and move that. And now uh, scroll down. There you go. So now you have updated sub super uh, super SU. Sorry, and it's on my phone right there. As you can see, on Patel portal SGHM nine one nine phone. So just make sure you do transfer it onto your phone. And once we do finish transferring it, um, you can go and unplug it. And we're gonna enter into recovery mode and flash the super SU zip file. So let's go and do that. Okay, so we have both Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on our Galaxy S4 and we transfer that Super SU zip file onto our device. Now go ahead and power it off. Power off and all right, it's powered off. And now give it a few seconds to power off completely and then we're gonna enter into Clockwork Mod Recovery mode. All right, now we're gonna press the volume up. So make sure it's volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time. Once your phone does vibrate, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume up and home button. So all three, volume up, power, and home. Vibration, let go of the power. And now we're gonna enter into recovery mode. All right, now you can let go. Once you do see that blue screen, you can go ahead and let go. A blue text, I mean. So just give it a few seconds just to boot up into clock or mode recovery. And there we go. So this is, oh, this is pretty cool. It's a nice red one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, clock remote recovery. So this is touch-based. I don't know if this touch work. Yeah, touch doesn't work. It just says touch, but it's not going to work. Um, and it is in red, which is cool. And it doesn't even tell me my battery percent. It's just 17%. So what we're going to do is go into um, install zip from SD card, the second one. Navigating volume up and volume down and power button. So volume down and power button. Select install zip from SD card. Select it. Choose it from SD card, and now ch choose the very first one if you transfer it to your um, uh, phone. And if you transfer it to your micro SD card, the external slot, choose uh, choose from uh, external SD card. So I, I transferred to my phone, so I'm going to choose that one, the first one. And now go into zero slash, and then go and uh, locate it. Let me try to focus that again. There we go. So now go all the way to the bottom and select update uh, super SU.zip, select it and select yes to install. And now it is installing, as you can see right there. And it says install from SD card complete. Now let's go back down to the top and choose go back and choose reboot system now. Let me go and focus. There we go, reboot system now, select it. And now your phone is going to reboot. And now you're gonna both have clock remote recovery on, on your device and you're gonna have super SU on your device as well. So just give this a few seconds to boot up and then we'll be good. Okay, so my phone is finished rebooting and now let's go and look for a super SU or super user app. Um, it should be right there. Okay, so there you go. You got super user app right there, which is really nice. Um, and um, it says install super must be updated. Um, I'm gonna go and update it later, so cancel that. Um, sorry, we have an app called Titanium Backup. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, go into super user and remove this. So uh, trash it, trash it. All right, so no logs, I don't have anything uh, activated. Now I'm gonna go into Titanium Backup. 
right uh where is titanium backup right there titanium backup and i should be um asking for su right there as super user request grants it and there we go i should have super user oh now i think i have two super user apps let me go and take a look at that oh no i actually do all right so this was for my first video from my 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 mac guide but this is the second super su right here so this is the one that you're gonna get this symbol right here um that's how it should look like and there you go, no thanks. And there you go, so you got super SU um, permissions right there. Um, so as you can see, it does work. So go ahead and enjoy um, using Titanium Backup and other root apps like that, and enjoy flashing uh, custom ROMs, themes, mods, all that via Clockroom Mod Recovery as well. Um, and that's how you do it. Very, very easy to do, pretty darn simple, and hopefully you didn't get any bugs or errors or anything like that. Um, but if you didn't run, if you did run into any problems with this guide, you can go ahead and contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. All three links are down below. Um, if you do need help uh, getting contact with me, maybe something's wrong with it. Uh, maybe the yellow box still doesn't work, or maybe um, just something's wrong in general. Um, go ahead and contact me, and I'll probably respond. Uh, respond hopefully soon enough. If you did enjoy this video and if this guy did help you, hit that like button and please do consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as that really helped me out a lot. Shows me you want to see more of these rooting videos, ROM reviews, and just mod themes, tweaks, all that for your Galaxy S4 device. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.